Hello. Today we're going to discuss the license management portal. It's important to understand the benefits of the license management portal, how portals and licenses are assigned, and how to navigate through a portal. With our license management portal, you have the ability to manage multiple portals. Our support team can keep a single thread for the issues that have been registered so that everybody is informed of the latest patch or fix that is going on with them. You have stability and consistency with regards to your incidents. We have a project license, a division license, and a global license. If you are a project license holder, you cannot have multiple versions of Syncfusion products. But if you have a division or a global license with Syncfusion, you will have the ability to manage multiple portals with different versions of Syncfusion. The main purpose of each portal is to give you a place to report incidents that belong to different versions. The portals also give everyone who's involved with the project the opportunity to see the resulting fix or patch given for the incident that was registered. It's important that incidents are being registered in the portal and not in one of our forums. Our support team looks at that single thread registered in the portal to know what's happening in regard to the latest development that you're doing. To ensure that the support team can help you quickly when you need it, the incident management portal is the best place to document that. Once you've entered your dashboard, you'll see the Enterprise Portal button on the left-hand side at the bottom of the blue panel. After you click on Enterprise Portal, you'll then click on Manage License, which will send you to the License Management page. This page shows you a summary of what licenses you have and how many licenses you have. Taking a look at the chart titled Portal Admin in the center of the page, you'll be able to see the number of available licenses, the number of licenses that have been assigned, and the total number of licenses. Below the Portal Admin, you'll see a chart for Product Licenses, which breaks down the types of licenses in a similar way. First, you'll navigate to View under the Action column. After clicking View, you'll be able to see a list of users that are in the portal. To add a new user, you'll click Create in the top right above the Action column. After clicking Create, you can navigate through New User to find Add Single User. On this new pop-up page, you'll be able to provide the information about the user. If you do not have a phone number for the user, or they do not wish to provide a phone number, a single digit is the only requirement for that field. So you may enter a single digit and move forward. For the Add Project drop-down, you'll select whichever project is currently listed as available, or you may type in Default. That way, the user will be added to the proper portal. In order to assign a license to a user, you'll click on the ellipses under Assigned and select Edit. Once you've selected Edit, you'll be able to choose the number of licenses appropriate for that user. After confirming the number of licenses you would like to assign to the user, the user will receive a notification from the DirectTrack system letting them know that they've been added to the portal. Within that notification, they'll receive temporary credentials. You also have some other options within the portal, including the option to select a role. When selecting a role for a user, the default role is End User. An end user is someone that will have access to the portal and all its functionality, except the license management portion, which is what we're covering right now. You also have the option to make a user a power user. A power user is someone you are able to assign multiple licenses to. For example, if you were to make a team lead within your organization a power user, you would be able to provide them with a number of licenses, and then they would be able to distribute those licenses to their team. The main difference between an end user and a power user is that a power user can also be assigned multiple licenses for redistribution. The technical admin is the third and final role in this selection process. A technical admin is essentially the same as a power user. All the functionality is the same, and you may assign them multiple licenses. The technical admin exists as a third option for roles, just in case there's someone you want to separate from the other users. Power user and technical admin have the same functionality. We want to be able to help our clients with security and privacy, and certainly, these different user types assist with that. Now that we've selected a role for each individual, you will see those changes are reflected in our list. That concludes our overview of the License Management Portal. For more information, visit SyncFusion.com. Thanks for watching.